Clever Home sent me their cat tree, so let's check it out and see if Tiger likes it. All right, so let's check out everything inside the box. So right here, we're gonna have a parts list. Here's some hardware. And then here's one of the fluffy pieces for my cat to sit in. We got three blue rods, a heavier cat bed with some wood on the inside, and also some balls, three scratching posts, and finally the base and the remainder of the platforms. And here's a quick look again at everything that comes inside the box. All right, so the first step is to build this section here. So we're gonna need both these wooden pieces, three of the rods, and this top part. And starting with this top part, it already has these two pieces in here, but we can remove one of them and remove this one here with the balls, put it to the side, and we're gonna grab this, and this is gonna be the base for the bottom. And then I'll remove this other piece and then put this off to the side. And now it's time to screw in the rods to this, and we're gonna be using these A screws. And then do the same thing on the other side. Now we can flip this over and it's time to put this piece on top. So this can just stretch all around it, just like that. And now we're gonna build the second part, which is gonna be the rest over here. And we're gonna start with the base. So this can be flipped upside down and the base can be put right on top. And we're gonna screw in right over here and we're gonna be using this small screw. And now it's time to attach the scratching post, and I'm gonna put the scratching post with this bit on the left side, and then this one on the right side. And here's what it looks like, so now it's time to grab this piece and screw this part in right here. So I can just put it here and just spin it around. And there, now that it's nice and tight, we can grab this double-sided bolt, thread it right through here, and now the other small stretching post can go right on top here, followed by this piece here, and then finally the top part. All right, so here's the finished cat tree itself. Ended up looking real nice, and I love the blue color, and even Tiger is interested in it so far. Oh, check it out. So overall, this cat tree is definitely gonna be made for smaller cats, potentially kittens. Uh, it doesn't have like the biggest uh, cushion up on top. It's about 12 inches in diameter, but Tiger's pretty big, so I'm not sure how comfy he'll fit in there, but he does seem to be liking uh, the inside space. I'm definitely a fan of the blue color. As you see, this room is basically blue themed. I got the blue wall, the blue rug, and now the blue cat tree. So here's gonna be the first story. And then we got the second story, followed by the third story. And both of these are gonna be the same size. And we do have two balls with this elastic, just in case he wants to play. And then there's this small scratching post. And then these two larger scratching posts where you can stretch on it a little bit more. And here you can see, he looks like a giant on this cat tree. And so, yeah, this is definitely going to be made for much smaller cats, probably kittens, uh, because he's a little bit too big. He's about two years old. He's like 13, 12 and a half pounds. So it's going to be a little bit too big for him to actually rest in there. Although he's doing his very best just to sit there. It does still look gorgeous nonetheless. But yeah, overall, I think he's pretty happy about this. He's just kind of chilling there, not really knowing what to do. But it seems that in the beginning, he did like the bottom part, so that's probably where he'll hang out the most. But yeah, that's a quick look at the Clever Home Cat Tree.